How to create concretely a marrying group of prayer ADPVB? This ain't good, Fray Valentino. Could you answer a question that many ask us? The question of how to create concretely one of your marrying groups of prayer ADPVB that recite the holy meditated rosary in a more profound and innovative style? Okay, I'll try to be as simple, brief and concise as possible. So, uh, anyhow, to make or construct or begin or found one of our groups of prayer, ADPVV, which uh, actually means allies of the little ones in Italian, VV being green flyers, we're allied with God but uh, to save souls, but also allied amongst ourselves. Um, it's clear that if someone wants to do a group of prayer with us, that it's either happened because they've either participated with one of our groups of prayer, praying and having a beautiful experience, or that through the internet, uh, our website, uh, poorfriars.net, they've uh, managed to pray with us and understand. What a, what a good experience it is. Just like, um, for example, at Rome, we, we prayed in a parish in one of the prefects of, uh, in one of the sections of Rome, in northern Rome, with the permission of the bishop there, we put that on video. You can see that in, uh, actually on the website, uh, Poor Friars, by clicking up on the, on the left um, when you enter. Um, and there's a little man with, uh, on his knees praying in front of, uh, in front of the, the tabernacle. Um, where you can see the video and, and you can actually click on that um, the rosary uh, uh, section which has uh, four different types uh, um, joyful, uh, sorrowful, luminous and glorious uh, and you can see and read uh, also the, the different uh, pre-prepared sheets and you'll see either a priest, a nun, um, a lay man or woman or someone uh, reading these pre-prepared sheets and so where in my place where I usually give the meditation that the, the head of the group or, or, or even can choose other people to give uh, brief little meditations that can be prepared before and so now having said that little uh, premise uh, one goes on if they want to start a group and found a group they have to have an experience with our groups at least uh, four experiences actually and also have uh, the permission of the local parish priest in which uh, the house in which they want to pray um, falls within that parish that the parish priest uh, knows and is in agreement with that prayer the concrete tools to pray the rosary uh, would be um, to start with the internal ruling um, you find it. You find this in the um, website, um, always poor fries, under the link of um, the groups of prayer, and you click click on the little cube on the on the on the home page, which is spinning, which says uh, ADPVV, and then you'll find inside that like an icon of um, a gift box, wrapped gift box. So you click on that, and you'll find that's that's the kit to the ADP uh, VV groups of prayer. Okay, we'll begin with uh, groups of prayer ruling. Uh, you can see here with uh, St. Joseph and Our Lady and the child, which is to say that the family is really the uh, domestic church where many vocations have been generated from or many families that know how to endure through time. So it's very simple, this. For example, in the DNA, there are the three points that one needs to believe in God, that He exists, and that Jesus is res resurrected. He needs to recite the, the prayer once a week, for example. But now we've made three different levels, so that uh, you could either, either be level A, that people pray once a week, or level B, once every uh, every two weeks, or level level C, once, every month, once a month. The second prerequisite is that uh, people go to Mass once a week, and confessing one, once a month and then always in obedience uh, in uh, submission to the Pope and the third point is uh, doing good deeds of charity especially those uh, those of spiritual ones of their works of evangelization or if someone feels like helping us uh, printing things out with providence um, helping us especially in our prayer and so then the second thing is the um, the juridical constitutions. 
poi ci sono i bombardieri iniziali nel nome del Signore inizia la associazione This is a non-profit organization and so there's the uh, article with the, the nature, the aims, the ends um, even our, uh, the sustenance of these groups of prayers um, because uh, we can't take money but when uh, Divine Providence uh, has it Uh, the groups of prayer can help us through that non-profit organization. Then there's uh, the formation, uh, the government, um, it's an association simple, but um, with um, its aims, it's to um, invite people to the sacraments. Uh, people who go to the sacraments will uh, help us to try and help them understand all the better God's will for them in their lives and to participate even more fully in the sacraments, in their sacramental life. But if they're people who frequently go to the sacraments, then our work is to precisely um, invite them back to the sacrament of uh, Holy Confession and Holy Communion. This here concretely is the heart of uh, how to make a group of prayer. All the rest are instruments, secondary, uh, but the, su the substance is, is here. So this here is the schematic model um, which tells you from A to Z on uh, the three, three sheets um, here possibly Can you see it? Uh, this here, for example, is uh, how you begin the, ro the rosary. We gather ourselves to begin to pray, and it begins. we begin like this. O Lord, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And etc. So uh, it explains with a teaspoon how to pray um, step by step the, the prayer. Giovanni 179 è una preghiera molto più evangelica. Um, and here you can see um, you can uh, how you read the, the, the sheets after this. It just tells you step by step what to do. Okay, so now I'll let you see the um, the pre prepared sheets. This one here is the angel, uh, the announcement of the angel to Mary. So whoever reads this says like this: In the first uh, joyful mystery, you, we read and we meditate the announcement of the angel Gabriel to Mary. One reads firstly the word of God, um, then the meditation from the community, and then a teachings from the Catholic Church. And then you say like, for example, uh, in regards to the uh, Pope Benedict the Sixteenth or whatever saint, someone says some, uh, saint or a teaching the Catholic Church there. So you can see these um, three train tracks really. Uh, the Word of God is the first train track. Um, then the, the bottom train track is the teaching of the, ta the Catholic Church. And then uh, the uh, wooden planks uh, holding the two train tracks together are um, practical theology, putting it into practice, how to put into practice the Word of God and the, and the teaching of the Catholic Church. And then, um, and then at the end there's the free meditation where you can say your own meditation and say, uh, I was touched by this, I was touched by that, and in regards to this, it comes to my mind, and so on. Well, one has about five minutes to uh, read and explain these pre-prepared sheets with the meditations, and so it becomes a little Lexio Divina or even catechesis, the concrete growth according to the Word of God and according to the Church. In each um, plastic sheet, you can fit in um, each different meditation for that for that one mystery, um, and you can fill them up. There's so many of them that we have already. And they all fit into here. And then I forgot. If you are interested in the theme of the meditations, there's also an index. The, for example, the different types, uh, you know, enunciation, uh, obedience, uh, this or that or another. And so therefore, once you download them all, you can, um, you can print them and put them all into these plastic sheets. And uh, there's all these, uh, also you can download these um, little, say, uh, spiritual candy, which uh, you print out, and um, uh, at the end of the prayer, you can see here it says, when there is the song, the final song, you can cut these little pieces of um, paper already pre-prepared out with different scriptural phrases in it, and people pick them up after. So you can print them, and then once you print them, you can see you can see the lines that you can cut them out on, just with a, a ruler and a, and a blade. 
and then fold them up just like this. And then you put them in a little bowl so that at the very end of the rosary people come and pick them up. And then there's the final conclude, concluding prayer as well. Now I'll explain you something else. So to make these groups of prayer grow, like uh, when Jesus says, uh, Lord, send us uh, workers to your uh, harvest, it's not like people are just going to fall out of the sky. We need to go out there and evangelize, go out and invite all the people to the, the king's hall. So we need to go out and evangelize. And so we go out uh, inviting people, do you want to come and pray with us, pray with us, come, come to the rosary? So you make a little poster. We have these little pre-prepared posters. Um, you can download them, um, and you can uh, it says the Holy Ro meditated Holy Rosary with every you know saying every time that we prayed every Wednesday, for example, at uh, at four o'clock. What's important is it's always the same time. Where the address, um, and then. And then the people to already know where to come and, and when. And then so you go out in the streets and you, you, go, you know, go around going into different stores, inviting people um, to pray the rosary. You know, if obviously if you feel like doing it in that way. Um, or not really. Not everyone can go and do posters, obviously. So there is also the little um, business cards, you could say, to invite people more personally rather than in such a public way. So you can see here, uh, you can print them out, you change the names, the times and everything. And then, um, and then obviously you go and you cut them out individually. And and then you go and give them to people to invite people and so you can put them in your wallet and when you go out and you meet people you can invite them do you want to come? He said, for example, do you want to come at every Wednesday at uh, 3 o'clock? For example, we pray the Holy Rosary. So, no, no, it's a different way. It's a different way to pray with the, rose, uh, with the Word of God, meditations, uh, teaching the Catholic Church. We sing the, the Hail Marys. So whoever wants to grow can come and, and they pray with us. So, this is the, the heart of the kit. Having explained that, what are these here? These are the um, enrollment forms, which you can always download from the website. And it speaks about three different levels of um, enro enrollment. Level A, level B, B, and level C. You can see? So here, for example, it says, in the name of the Lord, um, enrollment form, how to, do, how to make a group of prayer, um, how to become a member of the uh, Allies of the Little Ones, ADPVV. And so, um, in the name of the Lord, uh, with full conscience, uh, under no constriction, uh, and in total freedom, and after having uh, prayed um, a beautiful experience of uh, prayer, etc., uh, etc., et after having at least done prayed four times at their own house or um, wherever, that after this four times of praying, and so uh, either going in someone's house or having uh, us come to your house and praying, uh, then uh, we can officialize this experience, which will durate for six months. But after the six months, then it will enter into the year of test. And so, in all, after a year and a half, and with those that four uh, experiences, we, we will then put uh, into the Book of Life, initially be put uh, in, into a catalogue of listing of the, the members of the group of prayer, which can only be seen with a password, of course, because um, on the internet there aren't only fish, but there are also sharks out there. Therefore, you can, through this uh, catalogue, have more accessibility with brothers and sisters in the faith and, and in the spirit of our groups of prayer. You can also verify who is with us and who is not. And uh, one becomes more officially assumed into um, the body of Christ in this community, in a certain sense, just like... Um, uh, and so to go out uh, evangelizing a bit like um, Jesus and his, uh, his first disciples, um, that explain the scripture 
to to people as he went um, walking along the streets of the world, that the, the the king's halls be be filled. And so level A prays once a week. They can pray it even more if they want to, you know. So they pray it once a week. B prays it once every uh, ten days, and C prays it once a m- once a month. It's not a question of one's better or worse, but uh, depending on uh, how much uh, one wants to dedicate to the Lord. So after having prayed four times with us, the groups become officialized, become official. The cap, the the head of the group, signs, signs here says. Uh, signs here under the head of the group. Then you've got the vice head group. So, so this uh, this is useful because if the, the head group of prayer can't pray for one reason or another, the vice the vice head group of prayer takes up the responsibility because in that way the the prayer continues. Um, uh, it's important that it continues even if uh, some members can't make it every now and then. But they always do it at the same time um, and that way they can invite people. And then there's a secretary of the group and then uh, a simple ally. So this, this here gets printed out three times. It has a new uh, allied member. He has to do three of these, okay? And he staples them and then he fills them out and then uh, we sign them. Um, and so, in this way, um, the head of the group uh, takes off one of them. He gives it to the consecrated friars and nuns. One he keeps for himself because he needs to know the email addresses of, uh, of his group members. And then um, the other one goes to the allied member themselves. So the, the head of the group has to have all of these things of the kit. The ally uh, has the rosary beads and they put the rosary beads on, on their wrist uh, with the V. The V is not um, for Volantino, like I guess in the beginning, of, a bit like Franciscans have Francis, uh, the Benedictines have Benedict. Um, at the beginning I had the V for Volantino, but then I realized that I'm not interested in all of that. I'm interested in the truth of Jesus, the victory, um, Victory, V for victory, and V Vangelo in Italian means gospel. Um, they have uh, the, the large pendant with um, Jesus and Mary. Mary at the right of the king. There's the double tower here underneath to symbolize male and female, man and woman. They both have to um, be victorious over death. Um, and the Jesus with the good, the good shepherd with the little lamb, which is symbolic. Uh, also, we have to carry the sheep. Uh, and this uh, recalls us of the two um, tablets of the two, the two, um, uh, the two tablets of the law that Moses was given. It can also be seen as symbolic as the two uh, planks of wood um, uh, the, the, of the Old Testament and the New Testament. These two planks um, that no longer have to be on uh, on. Um, on the wood, but in the, the being, the body of Christ, that also we have to assume as well, uh, be assumed into. Then if you have any other questions, you can always uh, write to us on the, on the website. If you go down on the homepage, you go down, write down the, of groups of prayer and you'll see the emails. Um, or you could go onto Facebook. Whatever information you write on the emails that we have, and you get to one of us, and uh, you leave your telephone number, how we can get in contact with you, what your name is, uh, we get in contact with your parish priest, and we'll try to start. Um, we don't want any money. We don't want anything. We we simply want to uh, have you happy and to become saints, as uh, we want to become saints, as together in the happiness of eternal life. And just as a brother of ours says, like if we take a little bit of s- someone's arm like this, then um, the habit, then the rest uh, of the whole body will be taken up. And just like the Our Lady of Fatima says to the little children at Fatima, she says, Do you want to offer prayer and sacrifice for the conversion of sinners? Look that many souls go to hell because there's no one who prays and makes sacrifices for them.
So if you do this group, you know, if you want like an extra gear to go faster through Mary, she'll take you straight to Jesus. Um, and she wants people to be saved. And like so said, the, uh, the fathers of the church who doesn't pray will not be saved. And so we want to pray to help save souls. Like so says St. James, whoever uh, redirects a soul from, the error, from error to the truth uh, saves his soul and uh, covers many sins. Ah, I forgot. Why are these written uh, agreements? Because in the book of Nemea, it shows that when he's coming back from Babylonia, from the king, to build, uh, to reconstruct Jerusalem, the walls are symbolic of our, the, the walls of our own soul. And they're not only the church uh, exterior, but our hearts. Then Nemea um, writes down a written agreement with the king that there's a serious, um, a serious effort and strive to, to do this job. And so um, this is a sign of all the allies that they are seriously trying to do this. Um, as it's written in the book of um, Ecclesi Ecclesiastes, is that it, um, it's better to not make a, premise, a promise than to make one and to not put it into practice. So, so then uh, pray that it's, um, that it's really God's will. And then uh, you, you can have the experience of six months of just trying and 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 look for signs and see that uh, that really is God's will, but not because uh, Volantino or the little friars or nuns told you to, but because you've directly received the understanding from God that this is uh, God's will through Mary um, to lead one to Jesus and the resurrection of not only the soul but also the body. So this is the reason of why we have these um, written uh, agreements to try and.